Hi all and welcome to Monday Night's Treasure Vortex with Gypsy Jewels from gypsydigs.com and YouTube's Zero Discrimination and myself, Amanda Digger de Gauze. We have special guest tonight, Brandon Sutton, so that should be a very fun show. I'm going to say I'm sorry right off the bat. I know I probably sound awful, um, feeling kind of awful. <laughs> so um, yeah, hey Gypsy, how are you tonight? Hey, I know I'm doing better than you, Amanda. I feel bad that you're not feeling well tonight, but yet, uh, y'all, Amanda's just such a trooper, and she wants to be here for everybody. Um, and uh, just thank you, Amanda, and, and I'll try to do my best to save your voice. And uh, I know you've been coughing a lot, but uh, thanks for being here, and uh Hope you get to feeling better. Um, for, for those of you that weren't listening last week, um, Amanda and I took a trip to uh, Indiana to uh, hunt there. We had a blast. And um, unfortunately, Amanda got home and she had caught COVID. And she was saying, hey, how are you feeling? And I'm like, I'm feeling great. Uh, I had a mild headache, but... Uh, I think part of that was dehydration on my part. Um, but anyway, I feel fine. Um, but anyway, it's, I, I felt terrible that she, she caught it and, and, uh, I didn't. So, I'm um, glad you didn't. It's good. You didn't. <laughs> oh, it is because I'm getting ready to head to Florida. Um, I actually leave on, um, Wednesday to drive to with uh, to um, uh, gosh Austin to leave from the Austin airport on Thursday and fly to a uh, hunt in um, um, Florida. So I know Florida was just hit by a hurricane and it's really terrible and scary. Um, to be traveling there after all of that, but. From what I understand, the area we're going to be at, I guess, you know, just mainly had, you know, a little bit of flooding and a little bit of um, debris, but not, wasn't hit as bad as some. I know there's so much suffering going over there. I do know that the guy I've been con in contact with, they've been out, they were out several days. I don't know. I forgot to ask him earlier when I talked to him on the phone if they had gotten their electricity back, but. Um, I know it's just terrible and, and, uh, whew, uh, I'm thankful I've, I've had to evacuate for hurricanes when I lived in Louisiana oh. and it is, it's a nightmare. So I can only imagine what those people are going through. <clears throat> yeah, no good at all, but you take care of yourself on your travels. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, um, other than that, yeah, that's uh, what I'm I'm doing. I don't really have much to report except for uh, real quickly before we bring in our guest. Um, I um, I've got an upcoming metal detecting hunt uh, that will be coming up very very soon um, in. Kerrville, Texas, you can go to my website, gypsydigs.com, to get more information, and uh, or you can find me on Facebook, as well as TikTok, Instagram, uh, all those different places. Uh, easiest place is probably Facebook under Gypsy Jewels, or um, gypsydigs.com under my event page, and it will take you right to where you can purchase tickets and tell you more about the hunt. I uh, just got some new sponsors today, so there'll be more prizes and metal detector giveaways. So lots of lots of goodies coming. So going to try to make this as fun as possible um, for everyone. So uh, sorry I'm not in chat yet. It's making me re-log in. So if there's any questions, you feel free to drop them in chat. But uh, that's all about that. I'll go ahead 
so we can have plenty of time for our guest. But uh, one other thing before that, uh, I also on my YouTube channel, I tell about the hunt. So there's a video about the hunt on there as well as I've got a brand new video out that I just put out yesterday. So if those of you that don't know my cancer story, my cancer survivor story, why I started my YouTube channel, and then how all that led up to now where I am, uh, please go to my latest video on my YouTube channel, Zero Discrimination. Check that out. Uh, as I share my story, I've been getting a lot of feedback from it. And some people calling me saying they were in tears and that it was really touching. But um, anyway, if you get a chance, check it out. And I appreciate it. Uh, all right. What do you say we bring in our guest? Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. Let me save your voice. So tonight we have a very special guest, uh, Brandon Sutton. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the podcast. It's great to have you. Hey, it's great to be here. For those of you that don't know Brandon, um, I've had the pleasure of meeting him a um, couple times, actually. Uh, but probably the most recent time I saw you was at the Kadoha Hunt. In Murfreesboro, uh, Arkansas, correct? Yes, yes last that's time correct. I saw you, or did I see you? Mm-hmm. Or did I see you in Florida? No, I, so I met. Yeah, so I first met you, met you me in Florida. Florida. Yeah, Florida Hunt. Okay. 8. Okay. <clears throat> and then you came. Yeah, you came to the last Treasure Fest. Treasure Fest four. Um, or, or yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It, it, everybody loved. Listen, everybody loved having you there. Because you're so nice, so down to earth, and people just, Aww. they feel like they can connect with you. And it's just like my wife was just going on and on about how nice you were, and you're just <laughs> just very kind. So, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm, I'm not trying to, like, blow your head up, but, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> well, so, we're, look, we're very so looking forward to having you back. Yeah, so. Well, I can't wait. Um, that's coming up real quick. So, before we go into all the, the stuff about the hunt. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, let us know a little bit more about you, you and maybe how you got into treasure hunting and metal detecting, and then we'll go from there. And where you're from, of course. So, go yeah, ahead, yeah. Bruce. So, okay. So, I am from uh, Central Arkansas, Benton, Arkansas, to be exact. Um, and um, yeah, so for the past, I don't even know how long I've been metal detecting. Maybe. So I started out with like a, I can't remember what the, the detector was I had. It was a, like a coin master or I, I can't remember what it was, but it was a, um, I paid way too much for it. I can tell you that. <laughs> I bought it like, <laughs> in like a hobby shop and I paid like $800 for it. But for what I found, like it wasn't even worth what I paid for it. And I, so I was very turned off by uh, metal detecting at first because I didn't find like my, my goal, so it all started, so my passion for, like, finding history and things like that started when I was, like, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 years old. My great-grandfather was born in 1910, um, took me out to his old, his old um, homestead, and we would look for arrowheads along this little dirt road that went to, uh, it was called the Fush Lafay River in Yale County, Arkansas, and so we would find arrowheads. I was so fascinated uh, with that, and... And later on, uh, at some point, maybe in my, I don't know, mid twenties or something, uh, uh, we went to a museum uh, in Sheridan, Arkansas, and I saw the civil war stuff. Um, and I was like, they were talking about some of the little, you know, little placards and little things were saying, like they were found by metal detectorist, um, and so on. And I was like, I've got to get a metal detector. So I end up buying that one and excuse me. And so I went to a spot I got permission on and didn't find anything. Um, Then I went to another spot and then, so I found a civil war bullet. I was thrilled. I was like, Oh, this is crazy. So, but like, okay, I've got a little bit of money saved up. I'm going to get a Garrett. So I got a Garrett AT pro and I went back to the same spot and found just an incredible amount of Civil War relics. And I was hooked wow. after that. 
Wow. Wow. I mean, just it, it blew me away um, because I knew people had like detected this spot over the years. Uh, they had to have. And uh, so anyways, but that's basically when I started finding stuff like that, I started giving stuff to this museum, a local museum, and I, I just got hooked after that. So that's how it all started. Wow, that is fantastic. And I know you're really into the, the Civil War relics. Uh, I got to see some of your finds like, while we were in Florida. And, yeah. uh, man, quite an amazing thing. In fact, the photo that I think we used tonight in the promo was you holding a cannon uh, ball. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so... <clears throat> so in the same like general vicinity of where I found some of the stuff when I first started out detecting. Um, so I got permission from a landowner after doing a lot of research later on through the years, maybe I don't, I would say maybe in like three or four years ago, um, I, I got in touch with this landowner and, uh, he actually build, builds Walmarts, um, all across the United States. And he's like the general contractor for building Walmarts. And, um, but anyways, so he's like, yeah, go ahead. Just you have at it, and uh, I'll give you exclusive, you know, permission. And you, you search, and, and I said, well, I'll give you whatever I find. And he's like, no, just do your thing. It's okay. So, um, yeah. So I uh, I started hunting this area, and throughout the past several years, I've found some incredible, incredible uh, finds. Um, uh, well. So, to begin, like, I found three Confederate artillery shells that have never been found by anybody else in the United really? States. Um, they were, like, uh, I guess maybe some sort of prototype or rare diameter of a Confederate shell. It was actually a Confederate reed shell. Um, so, I found three of those in three different – all in the, within the same vicinity, but – Found one in the water, uh, which is on my YouTube channel. Um, you can see that on Arkansas, or excuse me, digging on faith. And um, yeah, but I, I, I kept searching this area, and I tried to put myself the way I do it is I kind of put myself in the past. Like I, I try to imagine where the soldiers would have walked, what they would have done, um, because it was this was just after a huge battle, and. I don't know. I just started finding things. It's like an intuition. Like you can't explain it. But so I started finding all this great stuff and I thought, well, I know where they crossed the water in some spot. So I'm going to check it out when the water goes down low enough. And sure enough, I got in the water and it's like nobody had ever been there before. And I'm thinking, how is this? Because wow. this is, <laughs> I mean, why would you not? Because there are reports of them throwing things out in the water and discarding contents of the wagons like how would you not get in the water and search for these things and so right. i guess because of perseverance and dedication i just like i'm gonna do it um because like i've said in the past on some of my posts and videos like nobody wants to get in this water uh, in the summer because that's the only time you can do it really um 